today we are going to learn the CLT. Sorry, Paul, I'm late. Why? 10 minutes. First, we have to collect a sample of size 50. We make sure that we collect the data from students of all years, both genders, and with different leg lengths. To ensure independence of data, we make sure that we collect the students' working times when they are working alone, so that the working speeds of others do not affect their working times. We found that the sample mean is 11.8 minutes and the sample variance is 0.688 minutes. We want to test our hypothesis at 1% significance level. The null hypothesis is mu less than or equal to 10 minutes, while the alternative hypothesis is mu more than 10 minutes. In R, we will be doing a t-test. We will be testing against our null hypothesis at 99% confidence level. The results show that the p-value is less than 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus 16, which is less than the 1% significance level that we are testing at. Hence, there is sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that the average working time it, from the hive to the arc is more than 10 minutes. So Prof, that is why we delay if we have a lesson right before yours. There is simply not enough time for us to reach on time. No, no, I'm sure if you work faster, you can reach here in under 10 minutes. Using regression, According to the regression analysis, we can see the p-value for the variable length of legs and the gender shows the both variables are not statistically significant. However, the p-value of the variable walking speed of the, is at the 2 times 10 to the power of negative 16, which is much smaller than the common significance value, and it's hence the statistically significant so, you all need to do is work faster. However, the coefficient of walking speed is only negative 0.05377. This means that for every 1 meter per minute increase in walking speed, walking time only decreases by 3 seconds. Even with an additional centimeter added to our leg length, there is only less than 1 second decrease in walking time. As compared to males, females take 6 seconds less to walk on average. Furthermore, the significance level of the intercept B0 is also high and is measured to be 16.4. This means that when all other factors are zero and it's male, walking time will be 16.4 minutes. Hence, this proves that even if you walk faster, it won't make much difference. Introducing our solution, we plan to increase the break time from back-to-back -back classes from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. After a break, between back-to-back -back classes uh, has been become 20 minutes. Uh, the class has been on time and no interruption. Next, 10 minutes to walk from here to arc. Yeah, walk from arc. Why are you asking? Oh, so late! Mi Yuan, is your class? Is your class? 
手来就来，想进就进。This means that when all other factors are zero and it's male, walking time will be 16.4 minutes. It's different leg lengths. To ensure independence of data, we make stop laughing. <laughs> The null hypothesis is mu less than or equal to 10 for the ultimate case. <laughs>